Yo, what's going on YouTube? So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing part two of three reasons why I switched from APR to 034 Motorsports. If you guys missed part one, make sure you guys go check that out. That video got a lot of likes, a lot of views. I actually did a poll last night on Instagram asking you guys, what video did you guys want me to shoot today? And you guys said this one. So here it is. I'm gonna be listing three reasons why I switched from APR to 034 Motorsports. So currently right now I am on 034 Motorsports Stage 2 Plus E40 water meth injection test pipes with advanced launch control file. Um, so reason number one why I switched from APR to 034 Motorsports is you can actually tune it from home. They do have their own flash cable that you can tune from home. With APR they don't. You have to take it to an authorized APR dealer which kind of sucks because for example... I recently went to Audi so they could recode my steering rack and when I got the car back my tune was gone because when they plug up their little machine to your car it pretty much erases any tune you have. So after me already spending like $500 to recode the steering rack and get a wheel alignment it would have been kind of shitty to go to an authorized APR dealer and pay an extra $150 just to get my tune back on the car. And that's anytime you flash your vehicle you're going to have to pay $150 so that's super shitty so obviously it's best to tune it from home yourself you could tune it at the gas station you could tune it at the track wherever you want so that's a real big plus on 034's part i know ie does have that too as well and ie is pretty good too but obviously 034 is ahead of the game with this uh platform and which leads me to my next reason so 034 is currently and they have been for a really long time the quarter mile world record holder so without nitrous on 034 Motorsports most advanced tune, people are hitting 10-2. And somebody did just beat that with nitrous. I and also make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because I do plan on getting a nitrous kit for this vehicle. With nitrous, it hits 9-9, and that's 034's tune, and they're still and currently and before was the world record holder for the quarter mile world record time. But um, I do plan on getting nitrous, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, like I said. And another reason is 034 has way more files than APR and pretty much any tuning company in general, in my opinion. 034 has a E40 file, a water meth file, a test pipe file. I understand the APR does have a test pipe file because that's what I was on before, but you're gonna have to request it from the authorized dealer and then they're gonna have to get permission from actual APR themselves to give you the test pipe file. But 034 Motorsports has this yourself, so you guys can play with hella different files. They're doing constant updates. They recently did just do hella different updates. I had to download a whole new portal. The new design looks pretty badass, if you ask me. This is what it looks like. But um, they do have a lot of shit. So APR does stop at 104 octane. 034 goes way past that with the E40. They're kind of similar, but there's a lot of differences between 104 and E40. But obviously, 034 Motorsports knows what they're doing with the E40 file. It's probably a little bit more advanced, but I'm not going to get into it. And the last reason why I switched from APR to 034 was the customer service. So getting in contact with APR is hard as fuck unless you're an authorized dealer. Like I said, you can't just hit them up. I hit them up on Instagram and they told me to send them an email and a bunch of bullshit like that. It took forever to get a reply when, when I emailed APR. But with 034 Motorsports, their customer service is A1. They recently did just put like a little chat bubble in their website. So the other day I went to flash my car and I was unaware that they did a big ass update and upgrade to their tuning files and a bunch of shit like that. So when I went to go log in, it said access denied, contact dealer. I freaked out. So I went to 034's website and I clicked the little chat button bubble and they responded right away. Like if you guys ever been on ECS Tuning's website, and you guys have that little chat bubble on the bottom and you guys can like write the person, whatever the fuck you guys want to write. 034 now has that, which is super clutch. Before then, before that uh, chat bubble update, I was actually emailing them. I was getting emails back fairly quickly, like within the next hour or even the next day was quick. Like if I wrote them at like eight o'clock at night, they would write me at 8 a.m. the next morning. So their customer service is way better. But um, yeah, so those are three reasons why I switched from APR to 034 Motorsports. They're just way more advanced and doing constant updates, like I said. I said this in my last video at the end too, I believe, but they're just doing constant updates, like I said. I know IE is really good. A lot of you people, a lot of people that watch me do have IE, and a lot of people want me to try IE out, but I think I'm gonna stick with 034 Motorsports. They're still 
IE is still doing updates because I know they had a uh, they had a problem with one of their files last year and they worked on it really hard. Shout out to them for doing that. Unlike APR, APR is kind of like just leaving this in the past type shit. Like they're not doing no more updates. All their shit is outdated to be honest. And with 034 Motorsports or IE, at least they're doing constant updates, which is really nice. But numbers don't lie. 034 Motorsports is the current world record holder. They have more horsepower. They have better numbers, a bunch of shit like that. So I would highly recommend going through 034 Motorsports instead of APR. And if you don't want to go with 034 Motorsports, at least go with IE instead of APR. Because APR is kind of, it's kind of on the outdated side, like I said. But um, yeah, so that's three reasons. So reason number one, flash from home. Reason number two, they're currently the world record holder and they've been the world record holder for a minute now. Um, reason number three, they have a lot of different files to choose from. And I gave you guys a fourth reason, which was the customer service. And yeah, so those are four reasons why I switched from 034 motor, or not from, switch from 034 motor. Those are four reasons why I switched from APR all the way to 034 Motorsports. But if you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you guys do enjoy the video and want to see more videos because I am going to be doing a lot more races. I got some races already posted, but I am still trying to set up more races. So if you guys are wondering why I haven't been racing, nobody wants to fucking race me because they think that my water meth is fucking nitrous or they just see the shit here at Supercharged and they're good. I pull up with the slicks. Nobody wants to fuck with me. Still, I'm the best there is, plain and simple. I mean, I wake up in the morning, I piss excellence. And nobody can hang with my stuff. It's very weird. Drop in the comments down below if you guys want me to make a video on why an Audi S4 is the best sleeper build. Because I do want to make that video. But, um, yeah, I'm out. Peace. Waiting for a nigga come outside so I can cook